We've had this Ram 2500 for three days and this is all we've done. One Gray Anderson plug inside the cab. I'm just kidding. We've had this one for three days. It doesn't look like a typical build that we've done here at Big Dog Builds. That's because this vehicle is quite stock. Stock suspension. It's got the little ECB bar up the front. It already came in like that. But what we've done is we've added a behind seat battery kit to the Ram 2500. We've put a bunch of outlets in the tub and this customer is now going to be able to power the fridge both inside the cab as well as the one in the back. We'll get up the front end of this vehicle though. We'll go through a bit of a walk around and explain what we can do to the 2500 Ram platform. We've had well over 650 trucks now through the workshop. Not all of them get a massive upgrade like you see in some of the other videos, but this one here will explain all things Ram, what the new model has coming, what this model is, and how you can get your build into Big Dog Builds Workshop, no matter where you live around the country. Well, this Ram 2500 doesn't look any different after we've finished with it from the exterior, but it already came in with the ECB bar up the front. But what this model differs to a lot of other Rams that have come into the workshop is it's actually a Maracunda converted vehicle and it's a limited 2500. So the limited model for this year had a whole bunch of chrome on it. So you can see it's got all of the chrome like the Laramie's had, but it's also got the door strips in chrome down the sides as well. Look over this side here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's exactly these things. So you can tell if it's got those little strips down the side that it's a limited. And the Limiteds have different leather interior. They actually smell a little bit different as well. This one also, I just saw on the little spec sheet, it's been down at GNL Performance. Whenever you get one of those little things there from GNL, you know that it's had some sort of work done. And you can usually hear a little bit of a difference. And with the five stage tune, like this vehicle's had. Speaking of gearbox upgrades, the new Ram 25 3500s that are coming into the country have got the new ZF eight speed transmission. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the Rams hold up in the new variant. They've got the high output motors now. They're coming out with the eight speed transmission. Those running the 68 RFE, just like this one here. There's a few upgrades you can do with the team at GNL Performance. We can work with that team there, get the work done, get it into big dog builds, then we'll sort your suspension, your wheels, your tires, your roof racks, your bull bars, pretty much everything else on the vehicle. If you're chasing a canopy on the rear end as well, we can dial the whole vehicle in, get it ready for that weight of the canopy. This one's not getting a canopy at all though. And what we have got the vehicle in for is a quick behind seat battery setup. The 120 amp super slimline battery behind the back seat is gonna run a fridge full time in the tub. It's also gonna run a little fridge inside the cab when the customer wants to. And then it's also got additional solar plug-in. So if they are pulled up at a caravan park or they're off grid somewhere, you've got the Red Anderson plug at the back there. Simply plug a solar panel or a solar blanket into that one. And it's gonna keep that battery behind the seat topped up and nice and charged. Obviously when you have a 2500 Ram like this, you're doing a fair bit of towing. So just having that little bit of additional storage for battery in behind the seat to run the fridge, keep the drinks cold, you don't have to jump in the caravan every time you pull over. You can just reach in the back seat and grab a nice refreshment. Um, and while the vehicle's driving, that one's getting charged up through a BCDC, little red arc uh, BCDC charger in behind the seat there as well. We've gone and added a few little additional outputs to this one here. We've got the cigarette lighter port inside the cab accessory port and then uh, we've got the accessory port in the rear there as well we'll jump around to the other side of the vehicle i'll show you behind the seat under the seat there's not a lot of room there at all so the team have worked really really hard to get a whole bunch of stuff in behind that limited room that we've got then we'll pop the tailgate down i'll show you the fridge in the back where the outlets are and if you're interested in this ram 2500 behind seat setup they're going fast and we're into the new year for bookings now for this sort of job When it comes to the behind seat battery setup, the Ram 2500, you can't easily pull the seats forward, but in the back there, you've got bugger all room to squeeze a decent sized battery. We've even had to delete one of the little air vents on the back wall as well to get the bracket in there to squeeze in 120 amp super slimline lithium. This battery here isn't big enough to run something like a 2000 watt inverter. So that is one of the limiting factors in doing a battery inside the 2500. And I'll show you underneath the seat in these ones here, it's got a little subwoofer from factory. Obviously we could uh, remove this one here if sound isn't your thing. And we could add in a few extra little battery pieces or do something a bit more custom. But for now, this setup on the back wall there, it's super neat, it's super simple. 
got the little Gray Anderson plug inside the vehicle here, and that one's gonna be able to plug into a fridge or whatnot inside the cab. And underneath the back seat there, we've got the BCDC 50 amp charger from Red Arc there. So while the vehicle's driving, that one's gonna keep the battery topped up nice and quickly. It's also got the solar controller built into that same uh, charger as well. Over this side here, if the customer does need to access any fuses, you can get access to it. We've got the Gray Anderson plugs, two of them inside the tub, one of them inside the cab. You've also got your little um, phone charger port in the back there as well, which we'll show you in a minute. And then you've got little things like SIG sockets, Gray Ando, USB, another SIG socket. We've got that one in here as well. So if the customer wants to plug into a SIG port or run a couple phone chargers constantly off that battery, you can simply pop it in there. So nice, simple, out of the way, and um, very, very neat install. We're um, continuously coming up with new products for the Ram 25 3500 models. With the new model hitting Australia's shores right now, we're keen as to get the new ones into the workshop. We're gonna be doing a bunch of R&D, and this battery set up here might get tweaked a little bit for the new one. We're gonna see what we can do with the new models that are entering into Australia. Are Rams coming back, or is it still gonna be Chevy dominated in the workshop? I think time will only tell, but for now, we'll jump into the back there. We'll swing around, we'll show you the fridge setup. This one here's a little bit unique. It already has the air brake set up for a fifth wheel install. And uh, this customer's use case for this one here, he's only just starting to get things underway. He's now got a battery to run the fridges full time. We'll get in the back there and I'm keen to see what this one comes back up for, for a stage two. When it comes to the rear steps on the vehicles, the new Chevy back step has got this little uh, step up option there. But on the Rams, they didn't have anything. You can see the difference between that one there and this setup. This one here hasn't got that step built into the bumper. So it already came in with the Ant Research little drop down step. These little things here, you see them online all the time. You think they might be a little bit useless, but getting in and out is that much easier by installing them. Super easy and simple to kick away out of the way. And this customer already came in with the Gen Y hitch combo on the back there as well. So you've got the adjustable heights with the different vans or the boats or the trailers. You can see this one's been used in a couple different holes there. It's got the DO45 pin on the back and uh, that one's ready to tow all of the toys. We'll drop down the tailgate. Pretty simple setup in the back of this one here. I won't get into the customer's goodies. He's got a lockbox in there, ARB elements fridge. And then um, we've done all of the outlets from that behind seat battery setup, nice and neatly on the left-hand side here. So on the side here, as you can see, we've got all of the outlets from that behind seat battery set up, all individually fused. So we've got the little phone charger bit is at the bottom. We've got the SIG port outlet, and then we've got two Gray Anderson plugs. So those ones there are gonna be rated a little bit higher, obviously, to run something like a fridge. And then we've got the Red Anderson plug, and that's your solar input. So if you've got a blanket you wanna throw out for the day, plug it straight into that red Anderson plug. That's gonna trickle charge and keep that battery nice and topped up. Obviously, while you're driving a lot, it's got the charge from the alternator under the bonnet, but plenty of different outputs there as well. And it's gonna keep the phones topped up. It's gonna keep the beers in the fridge nice and cold and uh, any inflatable toys or something like that with a little cigarette lighter or any other accessories as well. So nice and simple option, this one here. The Ram 2500 models, you've got the Ram boxes in some of the vehicles. You've got the non-Ram boxes, which is like this one is. It's got different tonneau cover options, whether it be electric tornos, whether it be manual roll-up tornos, whether you're wanting a tub rack, we're keen to see some new items kick into the future. And uh, if you're wanting a canopy on the back of the Ram 2500, that's where we really need to dial up the suspension and get it sorted. So this one here, it's quite a basic setup, obviously. This customer is happy with the factory suspension for now, but I'm keen to see his name come back into the system, get back up for a stage two, and we can get the GVM upgraded up on this one here. We can put a better suspension set up on, better set of wheels and tires, and this thing here will be good for years and years to come. Well, that's it guys, a fairly simple Ram 2500. Obviously, we've got a lot of options that we can do to this platform, being suspension, roof rack, switching, front bar options, you name it, we can do it. But this one here simply came in for a little bit of additional battery storage to run a fridge or two full-time. And if you're interstate and you're wanting to get a build up here into Queensland, we've got a national transport network to help get your vehicle into the workshop. I think you should fly in, do a handover with the team, enjoy their trip home because the build once they leave the workshop is a whole lot different to how they come in and if you like this ram guys check this one out here if you want to see these things boogie up the beach this season here's one to watch and these two videos as well they're pretty cool